Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, as promised earlier, we will do test detection on a more complicated image. Let us uh, go into the help section of MATLAB. By typing in doc, you can pop up the help section. Um, now let's go into computer vision system toolbox and then look at, it, look at the examples. Let's look at this example which is automatically detect and recognize text in natural images. And this is the image. Now let's uh, run through this example and see what happens. So let's use the debugging tool. When I click here, uh, that means that it is a debug point. And when I run the code, uh, it just stops there, it stops at that point in the code. And when I click step, what happens is that one line is executed. So we go to the next line. So let's, let's do this. Um, and we are going to debug it line by line and understand what's happening. Uh, but before that, let me show you the complete output of the... Well, yeah, uh, I hope you can see all of this. So this is the final image and okay, it's still busy. It's doing something else. Okay. It's working on a few other images. Okay. So we are going to, it uh, applies multiple enhancement techniques to keep removing it step by step. There are multiple steps in this process and we are going to learn, we are going to look into all of them. And uh, as you can see, it detects it saying handicap park, uh, parking, special plate required and all this. Okay, uh, let's do clear all and then start debugging the code. Okay, we're just loading the image and displaying it. That's all. And this is step two. We are converting it into gray. And then we are trying to detect the MSER features. So MSER features are, uh, MSER regions are the regions which have constant intensity. So we are extracting the regions and then calculating their pixel values. And displaying the image and plotting the MSR regions with the pixel list. Okay. So this is how it looks. So uh, this is our image and all these colored dots that you see. Okay. They are, they are actually dots. When you zoom in, you can see all these dots, red, 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 blue, blue dots. So uh, all these dots that you see are, the, from the MSER regions. And then the next step that we are doing is false of size of gray image. So false function does this. If you say false 4,4, 4, uh, you get a matrix which is 4 by 4 with all zeros. And then you're uh, creating an MSER mask with the size same as that of the input image. And then what you're doing is filling in uh, okay, you're taking all the index values of these MSER regions and then filling them with one. So this uh, image would have uh, the value true at all the MSER uh, points. And then you're doing an canny, you're doing canny edge detection. And then you're using this mask, which is an intersection of edge and MSER intersection. And, uh, here is a more detailed explanation on why you are uh, following this specific technique. So let's see what comes up. Okay, so uh, this is the result of canny edge detection and this is the intersection of canny edge detection and MSER region. So you can see that all, the, all this, uh, uh, some of the noise is eliminated. Let's go into the next step. So I am gradient. So if you don't know, if you want to learn something more about any function, just type doc space the function name. In this case, I am gradient. And you can read more in detail about, uh, about this and its implementation. Okay, now let's get back. Uh, okay, uh, so what I am gradient returns is the gradient in x direction and the in and the gradient in y direction. So uh, 
next what you're doing is helper grow it just so if you want to learn more about it just do this talk space helper grow it just and uh, okay this is not documented very well but it says grow edges along or opposite to the gradient uh, to gradients so it it helps you um, grow the edges right okay so let's see what this does so this would grow edges along the gradient direction and as you can see it it has uh, it has grown the edges in gradient direction okay so um the next thing that we would want to do is compare okay so th this is the comparison of your enhanced edge mask and uh, the normal msr mask which we which we used earlier so here what you what we are doing is an uh, is a logical operation with the gradient grown edge and and you as you can see you have a better result now and the fourth step would be uh, this okay now um, you're gonna find all the connected components in the MSER mask and I hope you understand what connected is and uh, or let me just tell you uh, so connected components in an image are uh, in an image are okay let me just take an example okay okay so connected components in an image are all the connected one pixel values so all the pixels inside hedge are connected components and all the pixels inside a are connected components but one pixel at h and one pixel in a is not connected so connected components are the components that form a closed figure right okay so what we're doing here is extracting the connected components and then for each connected component we are going to extract its area eccentricity and solidity and then we're filtering out the we're filtering out the components which have eccentricity greater than this and uh, filtering out the components which have area less than 150 and greater than 200 and then filtering out the pixels which with solidity less than 0.4 and let's see the result so here you go and after doing all the threshold operations you you get a better image the next thing that we are going to do is filter the image using stroke width so uh, you're going to find the distance image by using bw distance and if you don't know what bw distance is just do this doc space bw dist and then uh, you can see what bw distance means it uh, so it's here for each pixel in bw the distance transform assigns a number that is the distance between the pixel and the nearest non-zero pixel of bw so that is the uh, uh, that is how you get the distance image and then you use this function which is already in MATLAB to find the stroke width so this is the image with uh, the stroke width okay so you can see that uh, the stroke width inside this is diverse inside uh, inside the components which are not really uh, not really our text is diverse but inside uh, the text you can see that it's almost constant so that uh, so we can use the stroke width feature to uh, filter out the erroneous detections so what we are going to do is find the connected components in this image and then uh, for each for each co uh, connected component in this in this image we would take the pixel list and then we would find the standard deviation and mean of each and every closed component and if it is more than 0 0.35 which means that it has a it has a diverse range of stroke width it is uh, you're removing it from your text so let's just continue 
okay so let's see the result now you can see that you have a very good image right now and all these components are, are taken away so next uh, we are going to take two structural elements I hope you understand what morpholo morphological operations are and if you don't just just uh, search online uh, and uh, you're going to do a I am close operation uh, so if you want, don't know what I am close is just do uh, doc space I am close so I am close is pretty much uh, a, a, a dilation followed by erosion and uh, you're applying I am close with the first structural element and then you're opening it with the second structural element and then you're displaying it so this is what you get this is the image that you get after doing those morphological operations so we we are successful extracting our region of interest so now uh, we are doing one more step which is Again, in this image, we are going to store the uh, connected components and if uh, we are extracting its features which are, which are bounding box in the area and if the, if the area of this connected component is greater than area threshold, then you store its bounding box in boxes and then you display the box around the text region. Uh, you're cropping the image depending on the box size oops so yeah so uh, this is your box and the next step that you're doing is taking this image and then doing uh, OCR on it directly and then you can see that the text has been detected pretty accurately but you you have some erroneous detections here but I think it is quite good with uh, the complexities that we have in this image so after that uh, uh, he, he uh, MATLAB applied the um, this example shows the application of this algorithm on multiple images to uh, to show its accuracy of detection so let's uh, so this is for one example and this is for another example and let us run all of it so as you can see it can detect uh, these number plates with uh, good accuracy and it can also detect text on posters and uh, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.